Today, we are going to learn how to completely change our screenshots from 2 I am going to use Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 for this video, link for download is included in the description, the images belong to others, their links are in the description as well. This is the original image, and this is the final copy, so let's get started. I will close this document and start from scratch, open a new document, by heading to File, New, and make a 1920 by 1080 resolution, 300 ppi, 8-bit document. Next, go to File, and select Place Embedded, import the infinite flight screenshot. Next, select the pen tool from the toolbar, to make a clean cut of the entire wing. Click and drag to make your selection. If you wish to break the handles, click Alt or Option. I will speed up this selection part. Once done, right click, and select, Make Selection. Set Feather Radius to 0.1 pixels. Go to Select, and then choose Inverse. This inverses the selection. Next come down here, and select the camera shaped icon, also called Layer Mask. Next, go back to File, and then place Embedded. Import the window view image. Select the crop tool from the toolbar, and crop the image till only the window view is part of it. Make sure this layer is above the wing layer. Once done, we select the pen tool once again, as we only need the aircraft interior from the image, and not the outside view. Make the selection, and press layer mask. This masks out only the portion of the image we need. Our wing view is now visible through the window. Once again, let's go to file, place embedded, import the background image. This image already has a wing view, so, we need to remove it to have a clean background. Lock the other layers to prevent any mishap. Now, make a new layer, go to clone stab tool from the toolbar, which will help us in making the clean image. Hold Alt or Option to select a source and then click to hide the wing. This may take a little while to make it look more or less fine. Now we have a clean background. It's always a good idea to rename your layers, so we don't have any confusions. Order your layers correctly. Background goes to the bottom, wing view stays in the middle, and on the top, will be the cabin view. Next, select both layers holding Ctrl or Command, right click and select, Convert to Smart Object. This implies, that we can open this layer in a different document, make changes to it, and save it to see the changes in our final copy. Hence, this editing process is non-destructive. Next, with the background layer selected, go to Filter, select Noise, and click on Dust and Scratches. Set the radius to 190 and hit OK. Next, go back to Filter, select Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. Set the amount to 1.1. Make a new layer above the background layer, go to Filter, Render, and select Clouds. Go back to Filter, Stylize and this time Wind. Set it to Blast, and Direction, from the right. Stretch the image by transforming it with Ctrl or Command and T. Set the Blend Mode to Soft Light. Make a copy of the Clouds layer. Come to the Cabin layer, double click on the side to open layer style. Click on Outer Glow, and adjust values till we get a lighting effect around the window edges. Reduce the opacity of the cloud layers. Select both layers holding Ctrl or Command, right click Convert to Smart Object. Come to the background layer, and on the layer mask, paint black color with the brush tool to hide what we don't want to see. Make a layer mask on the clouds layer now. Reduce the flow amount of the brush, and start painting black till the image looks realistic. Make sure the mask is selected when painting black. We can toggle between black and white with shortcut X. Black hides, and white shows. Play around with opacity to get the best results. Once done, we hold all layers together and right click, convert to smart object. Now go to filter, and click camera raw filter. Make refinements here, to beautify the image. We can always go back to the smart object, it opens up as a new document, make any changes and save it to see in our final copy. Finally when done, export the image in JPEG or PNG format. And that's how we can transform images completely to something different. Here's a quick recap. Import images and cut out parts we need. Arrange layers properly and add filters. Make sure all layers are smart objects, hence non-destructive. Apply final effects or enhancements and save it to the disk. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like share and subscribe to my channel for more quality content coming soon.